in the ancient world Norse paganism. Nestled in the cold, harsh realm of Jotunheim lay the mighty stronghold of Utgard. This fortress, seemingly impenetrable, was ruled by Utgarda Loki, a giant renowned for his cunning and illusions. One day, the Thunder God, Thor, the trickster Loki, and Thor's servant, Thalfi, found themselves venturing towards this formidable castle. The mysterious aura of Utgard was thick with anticipation. As the trio crossed its threshold, unwittingly, stepping into Utgarda Loki's world of deception upon their arrival. Utgarda Loki, with a mischievous glint in his eyes, challenged the three to a series of contests. These challenges were not as they appeared, cleverly masking insurmountable tasks under a veil of simplicity. Second, Loki found himself pitted in an eating contest against Logi. Loki, known for his considerable appetite, consumed his meat with surprising speed. However, Logi, whose identity was later revealed as wildfire, devoured everything, the meat, bones, and even the trencher, leaving Loki in stunned defeat. Next came Thor's servant, Thielfi. Thor's servant also partook in a contest against one of Utgarda Loki's champions. The challenge was a race against a swift runner named Hugi. Despite being renowned for his own speed, he found himself continually outpaced by Hugi. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't gain an advantage. Eventually, Hugi crossed the finish line before the Alfie, marking another victory for the residents of Utgard. As with the other challenges, all was not as it seemed. Utgarda Loki later revealed that Hugi, whose name means thought, was a physical embodiment of mental speed. The underlying message was clear. Even the swiftest among us can't outrun the speed of thought. Next came Thor's turn to take on three seemingly simple challenges. First, Thor was asked to drain a horn filled with mead. Despite his legendary drinking prowess, the mead seemed unending. It was later unveiled that the horn was magically connected to the sea, and Thor's drinking had caused the tides to ebb, a testament to his strength. In the second challenge, Thor was tasked with lifting a seemingly ordinary large cat, yet all his might could only raise one of its paws. The truth unfolded later. The cat was, in reality, the gargantuan Midgard serpent, a creature destined to battle Thor during Ragnarok. The final challenge was a wrestling match with a frail old woman named Ellie. Despite Thor's formidable strength, he found himself unable to best the woman, who was later revealed to be old age, a foe that none can resist. An essential message about the inherent nature of life and the inevitability of aging. He struggle symbolizes the universal truth that no matter how powerful one is, no matter how heroic or invincible one may seem, time catches up with all. Old age is an opponent that cannot be overcome, an inevitable part of life's journey that even the gods cannot resist. In essence, the tale emphasizes humility and acceptance of our mortality. It serves as a reminder of our shared human condition, ultimately binding us across ages and cultures. In the aftermath of these contests, the smiling Utgarda Loki finally unveiled his illusions, expressing that had he known the true strength of the gods, he would have never dared to invite them. The tale of Utgarda Loki is thus woven with threads of trickery and illusion, providing a profound lesson in perception and humility. If you have enjoyed this tale, please Give a like and subscribe to Mimi as well. And comment below, letting him know which tale you would love to hear next.